Sometimes you need a very simple sound generator with a quite nasty sound and that sound must be powerful. And this is one possibility to make such a very simple generator. Twenty point seven volts back to twelve volts. And it's a very simple circuit. Uh, it is a relay, in this case from 12 volt, and the relay coil is switched in this way. Here we put in the, the voltage, supply voltage, it goes through this switch. This is normally closed, then through the coil and then back. But when the uh, coil gets current, the switch opens. Um, but when it opens, there's no longer uh, uh, current here in the circuit, so it goes back, it switches back. And that happens quite a few times, and the frequency on which that happens uh, uh, depends on the coil and here the capacitor. When you only have a coil here, you will hear a very small beep depending on the properties from the relay. But when you connect here a capacitor, we have a time dependent circuit, time dependent circuit. And that capacitor of course must be non-polar. And in this case because the low uh, inductance from the coil, we need a quite high capacitor to get to low frequencies where we want the whole circuit to beep. And to get to these low frequencies, we make a more or less a non-polar capacitor from two um, electrolytics. This is the positive, here also the positive. They are connected back to back, so they act as a non-polar capacitor, and then they are a bridge to the coil. And that sets the time delay. So when you need another frequency, uh, make the value from these two capacitors higher. In my case it's 100 microfarad. Um, and that has this result, as I have already shown. Of course, a relay that is developed for 12 volts cannot work long on um, uh, 24 volts. But because that, that the current is uh, uh, shut off and on during a certain time, you may get higher, you can get higher than the uh, voltage value to which the relay coil was made. Somewhat higher. And on the longer term, of course, everything will get warm. You can use AC or DC, that doesn't matter, because this capacitor is also non-polar. So this is a very simple way to make a kind of beeper with quite a good sound effect. This is how it works. I have already explained that. The switch opens, coil gets no current, switch falls back, etc. etc. I've used here a 12 volt relay. The resistance, DC resistance from the coil, is approximately 100 ohms or so. You can use all kinds of relays, also 9 volt or 5 volt or 24 volts. Uh, and of course, in that case, you have to feed the relay with the proper voltage. Can be 5 volt, 10 volt, uh, 24 volts, etc. One demonstration. Here are my uh, two polar capacitors, electrolytics. 
connected back to back so that they act as a non-polar high value capacitor. This is for instance a relay that you can use. One demonstration again 